guys, welcome back to PTV. Uh, it is Monday Matters today. I am not the regular person that is here. It's normally Megan, but uh, she is away, so I will be covering her today. I am Jack, uh, for those who don't know me, and our code word for the week is accuracy and control. My game today is going to be called More or Less. What we are going to be doing is, to play this game, I have used five different trophies and you can use whatever you'd like, whether you can find five bowls, five cups, five buckets, whatever you would like to do. You will need to number them. You don't have to have numbers stuck on them. I'm just showing you this, but you will know what, which one's which. You will number them one to five, as it is shown just there. And the way this is going to work is, I will be asking you eight questions. These questions have been written up by the other coaches, so I don't know the answers to them. They are on the back of my piece of paper, so I will be able to look at the answers after. I will then also be joining in, so I will try and answer them myself. I will try and figure out which one it is. So the answer will either be from one to five. It will be the number one to five. There won't be different answers for it. And what we will do is, after I've asked you the question, you will have three chances. What you will need to get is a piece of paper, scramble them up into little balls, and you'll have three chances to try and throw the paper balls inside of your cups, buckets, whatever you have. I have trophies because I always win, so there you go. So, if you manage to get the piece of paper or the paper ball into your bucket, I would just say trophies from now on, as that's what I'm using. If I manage to throw my piece of paper and get it inside one of my cups, inside one of my trophies, then I will only have to do 10 of the exercise I've written down. If I miss, then that means I have to do 20. So, what we will do is, if you guys would like to set yourselves up, I will give you a minute just to set yourselves. So I'm going to move this to, actually, I'm going to move this side, so it's out of the way. Uh, what we are going to do is get yourselves ready. So, set, set yourself up. All your cups should be in one to five. I'm going to stand on this side because I can see. What you will need to do is you will need to take roughly about two steps away from your trophies or cups. So, I would go one. Two, for me, it is at the back wall, so I will then try and throw them inside. You can throw it however you like, overarm, underarm, whatever you feel is best. So, let me get my piece of paper and have a look for our first question. So, if you'd like to set yourselves up, I will give you about 30 seconds to try and give your answer, and then we will do the exercise together, and then I will give it a go and see if I can throw my piece of paper in. So, for the first question, oof, okay. First question is, how many players are in a basketball team? So, from one to five, your answer must go in. This will be on one team. How many players are on a basketball team playing at one time? Right, I'll give you 30 seconds. Have your little chances. Try and throw it inside your, your cups. I need to try and figure out which answer I'm going to go for. Do I go for three? Do I go for five? Do I go for four? Could be two, could be one, you never know. I'll give you the answer afterwards and we will have a look. I'll give you the answer before we do our exercise so you, you know if you're right or not. The only way you don't have to do the exercise is if you do get the answer right as well. So if I guess it's some random number, say I thought it was one and the answer was not one, but I got it in, it doesn't count. If I guess it's the right one and I get it in, then that means I get, don't think I get to do less of the exercise. Right, I think that's enough time. I'm gonna go, See, it's quite lucky, I'm actually a basketball coach, so I know the answer to this one. And this one is actually going to be five. I bet you it will be. So I'm gonna give my throws a go. And that's why I'm a basketball coach, because I get it in first time every single time. So let me have a look, just to make sure I've got this right. So the answer for that one is, it is five. So if you manage to get the correct one and you've got the piece of paper ball into the cup, then you'll have to only do 10 like I will. And for this one it is spotty dogs. So. For the spotty dogs, we're going to go opposite leg to opposite arm, and we are going to switch and do a jump in the air. So I want these arms stretched out nice and wide. I want the, your legs to be quite wide as well, and we're going to try and do 10. If you need to do 20, I'll give you a little bit of time after, so we'll have a break after, and you can do your, your other 10. So get your position ready, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, that's my 10 done. Oh. My mic's gone fine. I'll put that in there. Right, keep doing your other 10 if you need to do it. I'll move on to the next question in just a second. So, get yourself ready. Finish off your 10. If you need to do 20, do 20. 
Right. I'm going to say the next question so we can get ourselves ready. So the next question. Oh, just read it. It's an interesting one. So how many shooters are there in a netball, netball team? How many shooters? So in netball, only a certain amount of people are allowed to shoot. So you never know. Could be five players are allowed. Could be three. Could be two. Could be one. You never know. I'll give you a minute to try and give it a go. I'll try and see which one I'm going to go for. All right, five more seconds, now I'm going to take my guess. Let me see. Do I have done this way? Maybe this way? I reckon, once again, I'm quite lucky. I did play netball for many, many years, and I still do play netball. So I know the answer to this one, and this one is two as well. And he's, he's, a, he's actually too good. I'm way too good at this. So I've managed to get it in again. And then we have a look at the answer just to make sure the answer, the answer is two. So get yourselves into your space. For this exercise, it is going to be star jumps. So I will only have to do 10. If you need to do 20, you can do 20. So get yourselves ready. Our star jumps are going to be really wide, and then come back. If you need to, you can clap at the top. I don't mind. I'm going to just keep my arms nice and high. And we're going to do 10. You ready? If you need to do 20, keep going after and finish your 20. So three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's my ten done. Keep going if you need to do another ten. I'll give you a second. I will go and look at the next question. Oh. Okay. The next question. I think you would have all finished. Let's grab a piece of paper. The next question is, how many subs can be made in a football game? I don't know if they're basing this. I'm going to assume they're basing this off of the new year coming up, the new football season, and I think it might have changed, but I'm going to go with my answer that I think it might be. Okay. You guys have a minute. So how many subs can be made in a football game? How many subs can be made in a football game? Right. I'm going to try and go for mine now. I think it's three. Last time, I don't play football, unfortunately. I did when I was younger, I don't anymore. I don't watch football either. So, I'm going to go with three. I'm going to go with three. I've got it in. I've got it in. I'm not very confident on this one, though. That's the thing. So, we'll have to see. So, the answer to this one is... The answer is five. So that means I am doing 20 of the exercise. For this one, it is sit-ups. If you have a person with you, you can do it in pairs unless someone's standing on your feet. Unfortunately, I don't, so I'll be doing it on my own. Oh, so everyone lying down on your back. And what we're gonna do for sit-ups, I don't mind if we come fully up and do this, or if we wanna come a little bit uh, lower. So if we go to here and we start and go back down, but we're going to try and do, I have to do 20. So, oh, he set ups. All right, let's give it a go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Finish that if you have to. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, right. I'm a bit tired off that one. Sit-ups is not my forte. So there we go. Right. Have a little bit of a break. Next one we've got. Oh, okay. The next one we've got is, how many bases are there in rounders? Why do you do that? Oh, I'm actually very hot now. So I'm gonna be turning a fan on. So. Take your guesses. I'm then going to go for mine. 
So I think the answer to this one, I think it's four. I'm gonna go overhand for this one. Miss one. Miss two, come on, final one. I've missed all three. All three of them have missed. Right, let's see what the answer was anyways. The answer to that one was, oh, the answer was four. It was four. So the exercise for this one, I'm gonna to have to do 20. We are doing 20 high knees. If you've got the, got the right answer and you've got it into your cup slash bucket, then you're only have to do 10. But for high knees, I want us to bring our knees right, nice and high at a 90 degree angle. And we're gonna try and do it continuously. So I'm going to do 20. So, ready? Let's go. One, two, that was quite a quick one, I like that one. That was quite nice. So, for the next one, we have got, the question is, oh no. How many times has Usain Bolt won in the Olympics? Well, Usain Bolt was a sprinter in the Olympics. He did 100 and 200 meters. So I'm gonna base it just off of those ones. I won't include the relays because they weren't individual, they weren't just Usain Bolt. So let's base it off of that. How many times did Usain Bolt win in the Olympics? Take your guesses. Oh, drop mine on the floor. I'm gonna be going now. I think it's three. I'm going underhand this time because I got it in underhand. Oh, that's why we go underhand. There we go. Right, three it is. What was the answer for that one? And it was three. I am actually getting very smart. Right, so this exercise, I'm going to be doing 10 if you need to do 20, do your 20. But this one is squat. So I'll turn sideways for this one. When we do a squat, we want to get down nice and low. Try and keep our back straight so we don't really like this, leaning over. We want to keep our back nice and straight. When we go down, we come back up, and that's one, okay? So I'm going to be doing 10 if you need to do 20. You do 20. So, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, if you need to do 20, keep going. I will get myself ready for the next one. Okay, right, on to the next one. So, ooh, the next question. Next question is, once again, I think I might get this one, because it's how many basketball hoops are there on a basketball court. How many basketball, basketball hoops are there on a basketball court? As I said, I, I coach and play basketball, so I actually know the answer to this one. So I'll give you another five seconds to try and make your guesses. Then I will be going and I'll show why I'm a basketball coach and I'm going to be in the first time. Bet you. Right, so the answer for this one, I believe is two. So here we go. I've missed my first one. I've missed my second one. But he gets the third. We're okay. We're okay. I was about to say, I can't make myself sound that good and then miss all three. I can't do that. So the answer for that one was two. So I'm only going to be doing 10 of the exercise. If you got it wrong or you missed the cut, you'll have to do 20. So for this exercise, we're doing heel flicks. Big heel flicks. I want us to bring our legs nice and high. We're basically going to try and kick our bums. So we're going to go. I'm going to do 10. If you need to do 20, do 20. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. That's my ten. If you need to keep going, keep going. Now. Right. The next one is how many. How many balls are used in a handball game? Oh, I'm thinking about this one now. How many balls are used in a handball game? This is, oh, this one could be, could be tricky. Right, five more seconds to make your guesses. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with one. I, I don't know, I, I was looking at two, but I think it's one. So, missed the first one. 
Oh, I've missed the second one. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway, I've missed all three. I've managed to miss all three. So what was the answer? The answer was one. Right, so listen, I'm doing 20 of the exercise. So, get something to your space. We're going to be doing tuck jumps this time. So, I'll do one facing forward and one facing to the side, then we'll get going. For a tuck jump, we're going to jump up, tuck our body and land, okay? From the side, it'll look like this. And we're gonna land. We're going to be doing, well, I'm doing 20. If you manage to get in, you're only doing 10. So, I will do most of these facing sideways, so you guys can see me jump. So, if we get ready to go, Right, and three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh. Tiring, tiring. But we're getting lucky because we are on to our last question. So, the last question is, oh, right. How many players, how many players are there in a doubles tennis match? How many overall players are there in a doubles tennis match? If you're breathing as heavy as me, it means you're working hard. I'm getting tired, but we're on to our last one. So, how many players overall are in a doubles tennis match? Last five seconds, have a guess. Right. I think that it's four. So, let's try and go, go for it. Oh, missed the first. But he gets the second. Final one. We're only doing 10 for me. So the final exercise is all high kicks. So for this, I'll do one facing forward, one facing to the side. For this one, we're going to extend our leg up and kick forward. Okay? Extend our leg up, kick forward. Okay, from the side, we'll look like this. Extend, kick, extend, kick. And we're going to be doing 10, so be five on each leg, okay? I'll be doing this one facing forward, so you guys can do it with me. Right, if you need to do 20, do 20. We're ready for our last one, okay? Right, ready. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. 10, right, let me get myself sat down because I am shattered. Right, well done today guys, that was really good. My guessing was okay, my shots weren't the best, but we still got through it. Well done for that, the exercises were quite tiring, the questions were quite difficult as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That was working our accuracy with the throwing and our control with the different exercises. Also our control with staying in our one spot. So hope you guys have enjoyed that session. Thank you very much for letting me come and teach you guys or let you run through this exercise with me. I hope to see you guys soon and have a amazing day. Goodbye.